Hi, I'm Sabrina Viano with Mountain America's financial education team. I'm here to talk to folks where retirement's coming up. Maybe you're two years, five years, or even 10 years out, but it's getting closer and closer. And when you're about to retire, you start thinking about the risks associated from moving from saving to spending and having to live on that savings. So we'll create a plan that will help you uh, mitigate some of these risks. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. I am not licensed. So this plan is a framework or a scaffolding that you can bring to your own advisor. Okay, let's get into some of those risks. What if you retire right during a market downturn? What, what happens? Uh, number one, you probably have a lot of fear in that situation. And when we're fearful, you can make poor financial decisions. Number two, there's the actual tangible thing that happens when you retire in a downturn, and that is your money can disappear faster. So take a look at this chart. We have two individuals, a person in green and a person in yellow. Both of them have identical retirement portfolios. They have $500,000 saved for, the, say, the next 10 years. And both of these portfolios over the course of 10 years are earning an annualized amount of 6%. Now, each individual needs to withdraw 7% to live off of. But look at the person in green. They retire during a market downturn. Over the course of 10 years, that downturn turns into an up. And even though they're retiring when the market is returning a positive 17%, their balance that they're left over started from 500 and now is down to roughly 150,000. The person in yellow, however, retires right at a market upswing. And then over the course of 10 years, the market dips, dips, dips. So the person in green really illustrates the risk taken when you retire during that downturn and need to start withdrawing money then. So what do you do about that? You create a plan. Plans not only help uh, with market downturns, risk, but also your emotional risk, because having a plan tends to allow you to stay the course. Any plan needs to start with a goal. So you wanna think about your retirement wants and your needs. Needs are not just food, water, shelter. Uh, needs can go bigger than that. So for example, let's say you're a big golfer and in retirement, ooh, you're looking forward to taking some exotic golf trips. You're gonna to go to Dubai, to Ireland, to Scotland, and you're gonna golf. Those are definitely wants, not needs. However, let's say you also hope in an average day or week of retirement to golf one or two times a week. That's an important exercise outlet for you. It's where you socialize. It's your community. We can count that as a need. So if you want to meet these needs and wants, you do need a mix of flexible and fixed income. And then your plan also needs to account for life is nothing if not uncertain. Things will happen. So what does this plan look like? Uh, this is formally what we call goal-weighted allocation, but I like to refer to it as the bucket method. So you'll need three buckets for your, your investments or your plan. Uh, bucket number one is your strategic cash bucket. This is going to be cash or cash equivalents. So it can actually be cash. It can be CDs. It can be a job um, and it can be social security. This is there to last you from one to seven years. And we say seven years because when the market dips, it tends to take a few years to come out, maybe up to seven. So you have the strategic cash. It's available ideally for seven years. That mitigates or at least minimizes some of that market timing risk, right? You already have your cash available. You're not pulling money out of a market that's dipping. It's there for you. Then you have a middle, middle bucket, and this is for seven to 15 years out in the future. This is a buffer between your cash bucket and your long, long-term bucket. And this will probably have some stocks, maybe some bonds. Uh, it's very important to be very diversified so you can buy low, sell high. Um, it could be real estate. It could be made up of a lot of different things. This is where you want to speak to your financial advisor and get direct advice. The idea here is when certain sectors of the market are hot or you have things going well in that bucket and your cash is draining down, you ladle from this middle bucket and refill your cash. Now, ideally you retire, let's say at 62, you need to plan 
your longevity could be into your 90s. So you really need to have a growth bucket for 15 years out. And this is, again, most likely going to be invested in the market. It'll be growth oriented and it will allow you to refill that middle bucket. So you're constantly ladling, or not constantly, but you're ladling from one bucket to the next as they drain down. So take this idea, this framework of fixed income in your cash bucket, flexible income in your two growth buckets. Talk to your own financial advisor and see if it works for you.